how do we continually, call, how do we get to that true self? That's the goal. I want to be in that it's, space. <laughs> I think you are, but none of us are 24 hours a day. <laughs> it's largely a matter of letting go of the false self. Like, like, let's say someone doesn't kiss up to me and call me father or respect my importance or my intelligence. Or the now, fact that you've written 30 books. Yeah, or, yeah. So I'm offended for, you know, how many seconds, I don't know. But then I say, now what part of you, Richard, was offended? You know, it's always the false self. The true self can't be offended. It can't, there's nothing to offend. It's, it's too large, it's too grounded, it's too real. So when it, that's my simple rule of thumb, Oprah, how to recognize the false self. Whenever you take offense, uh. whenever you take offense, you're living at that moment in your, now it still hurts for a few minutes, but once you go back to who you are, hidden with Christ in God, as Paul would say, mm -hmm. uh, it, nothing can hurt you. Yeah, so it's like in that moment where you say, so-and-so, like they dissed me or dissed disrespected me, me yes. or weren't, weren't giving me my props or whatever. That's always the false. Always. Always the false. Self. I'm going to make an absolute statement. It's always mm -hmm. the false. Now, it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It, you're, you're hurt, but it is the false self that was hurt. So what advice would you give to your younger self? Oh, I love this question. It's a sweet question. Yeah, it is. I would say everything's going to be okay. We're always looking for ways to live our best lives, especially on a daily basis. With me today is dietitian and health fitness specialist, Rebecca Scritchfield, and we're discussing ways to sneak good for you habits into your daily routine.